This seems to like a great positive that's come out of Africa, this type of music. Hello guys! This here is my good friend, Alexander Sandalis, aka Coca-Cola. And I'm let us turn up the beat. And we're here today to do another one of our react to you know, some different music from a different country with different cultures. And today we're choosing Malawi, which is a country in East Africa near Mozambique, Zambia. And uh, this one was sent to me from a friend of mine, or family I should say. And I thought I'd give it a crack because I'm really interested to see, you know, because we've done Spanish, we've done German, which is with genres that we're familiar with, so I don't know what we're going to get here. Right. But it's a guy called Netman, and it's a song called Nalelo. There's a video which we'll attach, we'll put it up there for you as well. And let's see how we go. Just dig in. Very well said. Like um, like you know, like Nao, so sick. That sort of oh, era. Right. It reminds me of that sort of production, like that guitar. It's like yeah. Little Wayne era. What I really loved um was the hook was super catchy, but the whole like tonality of Nepman's uh singing is something that I'm not accustomed to. Neither of us are really accustomed to this. Yeah. This African type of singing that um you kind of immediately recognize. And you don't often hear, and it's kind of I really enjoy it. It's just a pleasant track, and you know the music video to accompany it. You know, might be a little corny, whatever, but it just seems lighthearted and fun and, and intimate, and it seems to be singing about love. Yeah, kind of. That's how I took it. Like, it gave me definitely like sort of mid two thousands production wise vibes, like those guitars and the the islandness of it. Like, that's a production that was very big from then, but it really works here. I I, I like his vocals; they're infectious. And he's smiling the whole time, so it's kind of like it's just sort of something that you put on like during summer yeah. or to dance to. Like it's yeah. it's a it's a vibe of a song. So, like I'm really I'm just, I just want to try and find these lyrics now to see what see what they're saying on this track. It's cool to be ambiguous sometimes. Yeah, because you can get an overall feel from it just by like like you said watching the visuals and just trying to get the tone and the emotions you're reading through their body language. Yeah. And yeah, it's what you kind of nailed it the first time. You said that you just thought it's a, a track strictly in a way about love. And it's it seems quite obvious from from that, you know. Yeah, I would. I'd love to hear more African music. I'd love to just going to Africa, like you're where your sister is, mm. and it just seems like such a unique area and of the world. And just 
the way of living they have. Obviously, there's a lot of tr you know troubles with the way they live, but poverty and everything. But I don't know. This this seems to be like a great positive that's come out of Africa. This type of music. Yeah, man. There's so much beauty. Like yeah. I guess everywhere you go, but like a lot of places, like especially Malawi, people just would like. How many people would you know to say like oh, I'm going to Malawi? Mm. Like never. It's like when my sister told me she's gone there. I was like, I generally couldn't remember where it was, and I had to look it up. Mm. But um, yeah, really cool music. We're probably gonna do another one as well from a, uh, from Africa as well. So we're gonna do that. So, but this is kind of cool. We yeah. can put this on the vibe too. So, if you guys want to, if you guys want to see other different countries we've uh, reacted to, we've done as you said, German, Argentinian rap, Spanish music. Um, it's all on the playlist at the end mm -hmm. on our channel. That's it, man. African music. Thank you very much, y'all. Thank you, Grant. We jungle beats.